tantalizing. Ah, just imagine taking a bite of this. Hello, lovely. Yo, welcome back again to Time with Joseph. As you all know, I'm your girl Cynthia. How are you all doing? I hope you're fine. I hope you're staying safe. All right. Today we are going to be making pizza. Yes, delicious pizza that your friends, your family, your kids are going to love. All right. If this is your first time of seeing this channel. You're very much welcome. Please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, like this video, share, and don't forget to drop your comments. And also, don't forget to hit on the bell notification icon so that you will be alert whenever I drop a video. Okay, so without wasting much time, without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Right, these are the ingredients we need 7 cups of bread flour 1 and a half teaspoon of salt okay 1 tablespoon sugar granulated sugar 6 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil we need 2 teaspoons of active dry yeast 2 and a half cups of warm water okay then we need extra flour for dusting okay to activate our yeast we'll just pour in our sugar into the warm water then add our active dry yeast to know if your yeast is still active you will definitely see the foam it will bring out bubbles and it will stay at the top of the water so we set it aside for 10 minutes then the flour we're just going to pour in our salt and stir and keep that aside so if this is the yeast you start seeing the bubbles like this you know that your yeast is still very active okay so for the flour we're just pouring our olive oil then pour in the yeast mixture then we'll start, we'll turn, stir with our spatula like this, okay. Then after that, I'm just going to go in with my hands and get it off the bowl before kneading on my work surface like this. So then the next thing is to start kneading on the work surface for 10 minutes. So don't worry about the dough sticking to your hands as you continue to knead it to definitely go off like this yeah so to know if the dough is ready just make a ball then poke your finger if it's bounced back you know it's ready pour some oil on the bowl before you place your dough like this then we'll cover for cover with clean film and leave for one hour or more until double or triple in size. Okay, for the pizza sauce, we'll be using 100 gram or three quarter cup of tomato paste. Then we'll need half teaspoon of honey or brown sugar. And I'll be using three tablespoons of sunflower oil. Olive oil is preferable, but I'm using the sunflower oil. Then one and a half tablespoon Italian seasoning, half tablespoon black pepper, half tablespoon onion powder, two cloves of garlic, which I'm going to grate. So this is how I peeled my garlic before grating. Okay. Done. I'm just going to grate it in the tomato paste. Then I'm just going to add the remaining ingredients. Then 
then I'll add quarter teaspoon of salt, the onion, and I'll stir and add little water. It totally depends on the consistency you want. So. I want it a bit light, so that's why I added water, so this is what I want. So for the cheese, I'm just going to be using this, my Electra Modeling Slicer. This is safe, easy and very fast, okay? And it will make your product very, 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 very beautiful, just like this. So you can see, our cheese is very beautiful, it came out well. Just look at it. So for our dough, our dough has risen as we can see. So I'm just going to use my fist to puncture it down. So for these measurements, I'll be making three large pizza. Yes. So I'll just make it into ball before I cut again to the size I want. right so this is one of it which I'm going to roll with my rolling pin then do the remaining work using my fist my hands like this okay so I just sprinkled some cornmeal on the pan for easy removal of our pizza while I work on the dough so just place the dough on the pan and continue to push to the edge and fold the edge to make it thicker for the crust. So then I just went in with my fork like this. So after sprinkling the oil, I just went in with my brush to spread out the oil and I concentrated more on the edge before adding our pizza sauce so we just put and spread all through the dough leaving just the edge then now our toppings first the cheese so you can add as much, much cheese as you want then my favorite toppings which is beef and chicken so the next green pe bell pepper onions at this point you can add in any veggies of your choice you can decide to add um, tomato olive whatever mushrooms so the next i just added my pepperoni okay so i just added more cheese to the top and i already preheated my oven to 450 degree then i bake for 12 minutes so our pizza is ready it's time to slice so for more baking and interesting video or cooking please don't forget to subscribe wow look at this this is so inviting tantalizing ah just imagine taking a bite of this mm, my god i say your mind go day <laughs> for more of this mat watching videos cooking baking and more interesting video diys don't forget to subscribe like share and hit on the bell notification icon see you on my next video stay safe bye